Hey guys, it's Sam from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show and I am here with iHeartRadio Broadway at the Brooks Atkinson Theater because I get to do a backstage tour of Waitress with Noah Galvin. This is a big deal. I'm freaking out, but I'm gonna keep it on lock because I'm a pro. Let's go. So let's see if he has a minute for us. Noah? Hi. Hi. Sorry to disturb Sam from My Heart Radio Broadway. Hi, Sam. How are you? Nice to meet you. Um, I know we are disturbing you at your place of work, but I was hoping you had a little bit of time to show people around your world that is Ogie and Waitress. Sure, why not? Awesome. This is a dressing room that I share with Ben Thompson. Um, this is his station, it's very neat. This is my station, it's not very neat. <laughs> I um, love how it even has head cards yeah, turned I upside have, down. Yeah, usually they're right side up, but I have my oh friends. Oh my gosh, from books, Billy Lord and Beanie Feldstein, and I know there's a, there's a Caitlin Deaver around here somewhere, I'm not so sure, but. <laughs> She's made a run for it. Yes, I had a fan uh, named Tabby, uh, the other day she came and brought me this, oh, which was, uh, she bought me a star. Get out! Um, she bought me a star, and it was, I guess, like, the constellation is the night of my opening night in Dear Evan Hansen. Which is Whoa. very specific and very sweet of It's her. a wildly thoughtful gift. A wildly thoughtful gift. This is the difference between... Uh, Earl and Ogie. Earl has like three costumes and I have all <laughs> of this. You wear all of this throughout the course of the I show. I do and like I'm only in like 20 minutes of this musical but I somehow find a way to wear a different outfit every single time I'm on stage. It does match the character's personality. A little bit, yeah. This is my favorite costume in the show. Oh. I get to wear this sick little number. Do, just, this do guy, tell the scene. And this guy and this guy, and these guys, with these little stretchy guys that go under my feet. That's just comfort. Right? And then, faux boots, baby. Fantastic. Faux boots. Jessie Nelson, the writer, uh, I'm very close with, and she, she wrote the, the libretto. Um, and she, she sort of, I, I, I told her I was feeling really nervous about, like, the patter song, and all the lyrics, and all the movement, and, like, you know, you sort of just get like shot out of a cannon when you're playing this character. Yeah. And she very graciously sent an email to me saying that like there is a light that shines over all ogies that like no matter what happens, you're sort of good to go. You know, you can even like start the song over if you want to <laughs> and the audience will probably be down for it. There's like a layer for every there's no one who's not rooting for Ogie. Yeah. That's at any true. point. We have our Delightful Dutch Apple, Sara Lee creation. Ask for it by name. And then we have a layer of aluminum foil in the baking sheet, <laughs> you know, to protect. Keep it clean, honey. Safe, wrap it up. Um, and then we put the pie in. And then after we put the pie in, right before it goes in the oven, in order to get that good, good smell, we because open we up this here cinnamon. Cinnamon bay? That's right. I'm gonna salt bay it up. There you go. And I'm Let just gonna fly. go to town on some cinnamon. Maybe. Yes. Fill the theater. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, goodness. Okay. That feels, <laughs> that feels <laughs> that like. Feels right. <laughs> just like dab some behind your ear. Did you ever for do the cinnamon measure. challenge? What's the cinnamon challenge? So you take a spoonful of cinnamon and you eat it? Sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> More. I've been told more I need cinnamon? to have more. Get out! I I thought it was enough. Apparently not. This is <laughs> a shot that deserves slow mo. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's that's okay. plenty. <laughs> just it's about a half a cup of cinnamon <laughs> for eyeballing. Half of these. This lasts two days. <laughs> and then. We take this here pie, throw her in the little of of, 
close her up and crank her to 350, like any baked good. And then you just close her up and you let her permeate the room. Just smokes through. This is only 2019, but <laughs> one day you'll be able to smell what we can smell as you watch yeah, these wow, videos. Yeah, wow, smell vision I think about that very often. The little pies that are actually served in the show, nobody really eats that, although it has been offered to me at the end of the night a couple of times. Take it next time. Ugh, we're on a diet, you know? Fine, it's okay. Um, but the one, little two. pies, the little pies, one, two. the little pies are made by a woman named Stacy Donnelly, who is our pie lady, and she brings them in every day, and everybody eats them up. Yummy, yummy. Um, for a little mid-show snack. Because why, that's, I'm sorry, there's no other, like, intermission that can beat that. Find me a show that offers something better than pie during intermission. One, two. Also, <laughs> God, <laughs> I've also noticed that when we exit this theater, if you turn right out the theater, Glasshouse Tavern is right next door and they have a sign that they put up that says pie is served here, Ooh. which is so One, smart. Two. That is, which is so, so smart because it's exactly after watching this show for the, from the times I saw it before <laughs> I was in it, um, all I wanted to do was binge some pie. Smart and sneaky. And I wish I had averted my glances for Glasshouse Tavern post show. What? This is my favorite thing now. Don't edit any of these out. It's hilarious. Yeah, so this sandwich is fake, but the person who has to sit in this chair also gets to eat uh, veggie straws, which I'm a little bit jealous of. Oh, like the tricolor yeah. like chip thing? Oh, those yeah. are good. Sriracha flavored. It's so like good. fake, fake fries. Okay. You know? Not bad. Not bad. Um, and then we set up my my wall station over here. It's now preset for the top of show, but when I come out, I have a little station. It has my flowers, all my stuff, and I have to very carefully like organize it all. And then when I come on stage, I do further organizing. Um, <laughs> I yeah. continue with the organizing. I continue to organize. It's your five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Wait, that's right. these are the split chair chairs. These are, yes, these are the chairs that I have to jump over. You see, you know, a little bit less of a, of a wide back than the chair in my dressing room. You just gotta do a little whoop. And then you land. In the audience, it looks like there's a friggin' pulley system for Oki because he friggin' flies with the split and lands. How you don't hurt something, I don't I know. know. I almost did last week for the first time, and I was like, not doing that again. We knock on wood. That's right. We're not messing with it's that. It's a little scary. The floor is, um, if you look down, it's got like diner floor. Same diner floor. But this is a moving platform, and this is not! It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Has anyone tripped on stage during a show? Yeah, I have tripped on stage during a show. <laughs> I feel so much more normal now. <laughs> this makes me... We're listen. still human, you it know? It happens! We may be graceful dancers, but we're still human. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, so there's, there's a couple moments in the show where Jenna swaps out the pies in here. So these, um, these actually open up and she swaps a pie every night and it's all very exciting i know they're not real but i want them to be i know they're so beautiful they're so pretty they make me hungry <laughs> i'm gonna stop off at that place that you said yeah you right walk out. last house also a little pie company down the street yes. Ooh, baby gonna do that yeah all right we have done a fair amount of disturbing the theater. <laughs> I think we're leaving everything as we found it though, so that's awesome. Yeah, well, we'll see once the show starts. If anything's out of place, we'll find out and right now. Don't point to me. <laughs> Noah, thank you so much for showing us around. This has been incredible. Thank you. And I hope it keeps being as fun to be Ogie as it looks in the audience because we just have a blast watching you. Yeah, thank you. Amazing. Me too. <laughs> and if you haven't seen it yet, I only have rude things to say to you. I don't know. Just come see it. It's awesome. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? <laughs>